Hello YouTube and Flickr viewers. Um, I recently, uh, the new motor I put in the Philco started making a lot of noise. Um, I'll probably have to change it out again. Probably use it in my bedroom to be honest with you. Um, I got this brand new in the box. I, know, I don't know if you guys remember the video or not. It's from about three, I think it was uh, July 2014 actually. But here it is three years later. I converted that to 220 and uh, installed that. Yeah, get up here closer. Oh yeah, this is all the original foam and everything's in there. Looks like we have, see if we can see in there, I don't know. Yep, 19,000 BTUs, 2120 watts an hour, model number 19LD4D-A, uses 15 amps. Very efficient with it with its uh, 9.0 energy efficiency rating. 60 hertz, 15 amp, yeah, yeah, la di da. Made in America too. Go America, go Trump. Back on, back, back up. Oh yeah. Yeah, it still still has shiny coat on there on the uh, wood grain. Filter's in great shape. You can see it's already starting to collect some dust. You can see the line there. See how wet the coils are. That thing removes a lot of humidity. Uh, take you outside in a second. Slide right back in there, no problem at all. Filter's in perfect shape, obviously, as it should be for being brand new in a box. It's on quiet. This is the part where the uh, I did put the older style uh, control panel plate on there, though I like them better. I want to get one of the one of the speckled ones, one of the metallic with the metallic speckles on there. Once I get one of those, find a unit that has one of those, I'll put that on. But the loud's the same. Put one of the older style energy saver switches on because I like I like the uh, this the flip switch better than the rocker switch. I always like this. How the bigger ones, the older ones, have a nighttime range, a daytime range. I thought it looked nicer. Take a step outside for a minute. Oh, before anyone asks, no, I'm not throwing my Philco away. No, I'm not selling my Philco. And uh, yes, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take more time to find the right fan motor for it. it might take a while, but I'll find a uh, higher quality. I don't know why that one wasn't sufficient. I think that's a Fasco on there. Or Gee, but anyway, back, back to this. That is a mean sounding compressor for a recip. I mean, it really, or not a recip, a uh, rotary compressor. Recips usually sound beast, but that's a mean sounding fucking rotary. Look at all the coils, it's still nice and shiny yet. Look at that EQK tag. Put a uh, PEX fitting on the end of the uh, condensate tube to prevent rust. I don't want any water sitting in the bottom of this unit, period. Although I did find a flaw in my plan. Uh, part of the compressor here gets the condensation and rips down, but it shouldn't really accumulate much. It shouldn't be a big deal. Look how shiny, that's perfect. Use the, put the, I put the brackets on. I went all out. There you go, do a quick walk around all angles. Oops. 
me here with the uh, little quick one out here too. One more of the compressor. It's cold in here too. And it does run pretty quiet on quiet. All I gotta do yeah, is put the trim around it. Came with the energy efficiency booklet. Tells you how much it costs to run based on your bill, how many hours you use it. Registration card. Return slip. I don't know if anyone's interested in reading, I'll get a good look on it quick so you can pause it and read it if, not, if desired. Oop. Service contract, warranty information. I have the owner's manuals in here. Let me pause it for a second, find the owner's manual. We'll also do a temp check. Oh, here's the, uh, crap. Yeah. Here's the owner's manual. I got that. And I think I just fucked myself because the compressor just kicked off. I so said I'll get still shots in case anyone wants to pause it. That's the control panel it has on it. More information if you want to pause that there. Here's the heat one. I've seen a control panel like that, but just with four buttons on like one of the really old ones with the two drain holes and the one vent. Now, I only ever seen it once. I've seen a picture of one that was out in California, but that didn't have heat. That was just a regular cool model. I wouldn't mind finding one though. That'd be pretty wicked. Really wicked actually. I really hope that compressor kicks back on so I can do a temp check. That'd be nice. Like I said, I don't expect you to read this right now. I'm just getting a good still image on it. So if anyone wanted to read it, they could. That's completely up to you. Whether you want to skip this part of the video or stop it and pause it, whatever. Made in America. I wish I could still say the same about shit today. I'm gonna pause it quick, and once the compressor kicks back on, if it's in a reasonable amount of time, it's pretty cold in here. Now, let me get a look at it quick. Eh, what's the temperature? What is the temperature anyway? I don't know if you can see there or not, but it's about 67. I need to tweak that a little bit and see if I can get it to... Yeah, I'm, I'm all the way up. Get some giggles, see what's blowing out on fucking fan. That's without the compressor running, so it's actually colder in here than... Uh, up in the front then that thermometer leads you to believe. Hey, look how nice that freaking front grill looks though. I'm gonna leave this a pause, leave it on pause for a few minutes just in case that fucking compressor kicks on so I can do it. I really wanna do a temp check on it.
All right, guys, I'm in luck. The compressor just fired back up. Just to verify and confirm. Do the outside first for shits and giggles. Oh, shit. That part's cold. That part's hot. So it's transferring the heat off of it pretty good as it should. Pretty even temps a lot to hold. Condenser coil. Condenser coil is pretty even. Uh, here for the fun part. What are we blowing? Blowing pretty cold. Tell you what, man. These air conditioners, these Emersons from like the uh, late 70s and early 80s. Oh yeah, look how cold that coil is. Oh yeah, look at that. It's real sweaty. You can tell it's doing a very good job of moving the humidity. Yeah, I always say that these uh, these Emersons from the late 70s and early 80s are, the, are by far the best units of their time. Think about it. By the time the late 70s rolled around, most of the units that everybody collects, like the old Fetters, the old Chrysler Air Temp, Philco 4, GM Frigid Air, um, basically any of the ones that are highly collectible have ceased operation. By that point in time, Fetters have already started uh, using their own compressors too, which were of less quality and cheaper. So, I mean, Emerson Quietcool was literally probably the shit back to then. The only one I can think of that would have similar quality would be the Fredericks. Now, obviously, the 80s had some other units that were good. In the 80s, the Fredericks units were still good. But, I don't know, I really do think the Emersons were... Well, Emerson, the Quiet Cool, and Frederick are probably the best of their time. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching, as usual. Uh, as always, I always appreciate your feedback, and... Yeah, uh, thanks for your support.